video. I actually wasn't gonna vlog today. Like I had it planned that I was gonna vlog today, but then I woke up and I was like, man, not really feeling it. And then um, I started watching some videos and I got inspired to vlog. So I'm vlogging today. I'm making a coffee right now. I made this this morning. I don't know what has been up with me, but I like can't sleep. Like I sleep once I'm asleep, but it's been taking me so long to fall asleep because if I lay down and I feel like I could run a marathon. Like I feel like um, my legs are restless, my, my mind is restless, like my heart beats fast. And it doesn't really feel like anxiety. I don't know, I just like don't want to sleep. Like I lay down and I'm like, I'm bored, like I wanna go do something else. It's the weirdest feeling, I'm feeling like that. And so I've been like going to bed really late, but then I still like spring out of bed in the morning. Like I, my body just like doesn't wanna sleep right now, which is so weird, um, cause I need sleep, but yeah, so. I need this coffee. Like, how do you even drinking too much caffeine? Like, I just have a couple cups for my Keurig a day, and they're both in the morning. Like, I don't know. I, I get it when, on the days where I have, like, coffee at home and then get, like, a large coffee somewhere else. Like, I understand it then. But on the days where I'm just, like, drinking Keurig coffee at home and just two cups, which equals, like, one cup from a coffee shop, I just don't, don't really get it. I don't really know what's going on there, but I think it's just like a weird thing. Maybe, maybe however the moon is like making me not sleep. But um, yeah, good morning. It's 8 a.m. I've been up for like a half hour or so. And I'm gonna make some breakfast. I woke up really, really hungry and yeah, I had been going, like, okay, so I get into this habit whenever I, like, watch a lot of Netflix at night, because, like, we, I go through phases where I, like, either binge watch a show at night, or I'm not really into shows, and right now I'm binge watching Orange is the New Black with Avery, and, um, I always get into habits when I'm watching shows like that at night, where I have, like, 14 different things to eat after dinner that I'm not hungry for even at all even a little bit So the next morning I wake up and I'm not very hungry and don't really eat breakfast, but um, last night I was better about it and um, You know what I discovered that I like cottage cheese I didn't think I liked it, but I guess I do and I've been having cottage cheese with strawberries as like one of my desserts I've still had multiple last night, but um, yeah, I was making like a little bit better options instead of eating like 14 horrible things. I ate like four or five like not so bad things. I just I just like to sit and eat, you know. But anyways, um, I think it's just like how I don't know. I don't know. I just like to eat snacks while I watch TV. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Avocado toast, early surprise. And I'm really excited because we got um, everything but the bagel ciabatta today, which is my fave. So let me go get it. I'll show you my breakfast once it's all done. But I just put my bread in the toaster. But, um, so it's Wednesday today, and I have not too many crazy things to do, but um, just a few things to do for work today. And then tomorrow, I really need to just like clean up a little bit and um, and just like finish up loose ends for the weekend because um, my assistant is coming into town to stay with us for the weekend because we're doing the Sun Shark photo shoot for the upcoming drop. Um, so I just want to like clean up a little bit for that. Also, I've been getting really weird like acne in weird places not acne but just like a little bit of a breakout like i've been getting cheek pimples which i've never really gotten before and also shoulders they're not like pimples with like whiteheads but they're just like bumps 
don't know, it's super weird. It's like places I've never even gotten acne before and all of a sudden I have it like all over. And also like on my forearms and I thought, like I shave my arms and so I thought that that's what it was from, but it's like not just on places that I shave. Like I don't shave my shoulders or my cheeks. I'm getting like the same type of acne on them. I don't know, it must be some hormone thing or maybe even like an allergy. Like maybe it's like a pollen type allergy. I don't know. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Also, I saw this thing on TikTok where it's like these like parasite removing things that you can take and like apparently like everyone has worms in their gut. Have you guys heard about that? I'm scared to try it but I kind of want to, but I feel like that cannot be good for you. But then I saw comments that were like, oh, people in other countries do all the time. So I don't know. Do you guys deworm? What's your opinion on deworming? I need everyone's honest opinion because I don't know. Like, why don't we do it if it's good for you? Probably because America's stupid. Okay, I'm gonna um, make this breakfast and then I'll show you. You guys have seen it. I don't know what I'm gonna show you. No, I'm not gonna show you. Literally just everything with, or everything ciabatta and avocado it's really not that exciting you've seen it a billion times <laughs> like my breakfast okay i just finished um eating my breakfast and it was so good ciabatta just hits so different with avocado but um i want to update you guys in case anyone's curious i feel like i would be if like i were watching my videos um because you guys know florida just got hit with a hurricane but we didn't see even a little bit like <laughs> it didn't even rain near us or anything we didn't get hit at all so we're all good down here i mean it wasn't supposed to hit us like the radar wasn't showing that it was going to hit us but um but what was i gonna say oh but we were supposed to get like <clears throat> wind and um like a lot of rain and just like from the outskirts of it and then i heard there was like tornadoes popping up i don't know but we saw nothing i mean we were up um, a few towns up yesterday and it was it rained there for a sec like pretty hard but not anything like out of the ordinary for florida not like not necessarily like hurricane just like a rain you know um <clears throat> but yeah it was just like cloudy here yesterday and today it's sunny so i wonder if it's gonna be sunny all day it's been so cloudy here. It's like the worst. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna be cloudy all day for me, but it looks sunny now. I don't know. Note to self, Southern Florida is extremely cloudy in the summertime. Yeah, because I remember when we moved down here in August last year, it like pretty much rained every day, but I assumed that, you know, it was just like, cause fall was coming. It was like end of summer, but it's been raining like since May, I swear. Honestly, it just rains a lot here. It was like really sunny in like December, but December isn't hot enough to like be outside at the beach and stuff. Like a little bit, but it's not like, ugh, it's full potential. I don't know. I just don't think I like Southern Florida as much as when I lived up in the Tampa area. Well, I didn't like Tampa, but I lived like in that area with like clear water and everything. And I think I might have liked that better because like weather is better up there in my opinion. But I also really love West Palm, which is like a little bit north of us and like the Juno Beach area. So I'm like torn. I don't know. I actually think like spring had the best weather here. But it wasn't very warm this year. It was like pretty chilly still in the spring, but it was like very sunny. I don't know. Florida's confusing. It's like, especially once you adjust to Florida weather, you realize it's like not even that hot. <laughs> like it's like really not even that hot, ever. I don't know. Like I, I still wear pants like every day. Like I just don't feel like it's that hot. Maybe I'm just used to it. <laughs> Probably I'm just used to it. I just feel like last summer I remember it being way more hot. Like I remember going to the grocery store when I was when I was still living at my aunt's house and like coming out and it was like boiling hot and I like couldn't bear it. 
now I'm like wearing sweatshirts in this weather. But I feel like it's just not as hot and it's like been cloudy, I don't know. I've also been doing a lot of thinking of like where I want to live like in my lifetime before like I settle down somewhere in the future, you know? Um, and <clears throat> you guys know our lease ends in September for this place and we have been thinking that we want to go to Hawaii. Um, and originally we were like Hawaii for a year and then we were like Hawaii for six months. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Avery woke up um, and called me in so I went and said good morning to her. But um, what I was saying was I have been thinking about like places that I want to live in my life like before I like start a family, you know? Um, so for like the next few years and um, well, next years, I don't know, few years. Uh, few makes it sound like it's shorter than I <laughs> want it to be. Like, for a while, you know? Um, and we decided that we think we'll probably not even really move to Hawaii, but go for like a month and stay in just like a couple Airbnbs because that just makes the most sense right now. Um, so yeah, just going there for like a month or so and then when we come back, I'm thinking we're not fully done with Florida and so we're thinking we'll probably get a lease in Florida again for an apartment. We just don't know where in Florida yet. And also we probably won't do a year, we'll probably do like six months or if they don't do six months, like nine months, just like shorter than a year. Um, and part of that reason is because since we're going to Hawaii when this lease ends, we're leaving our stuff in a storage unit in Florida because that's like makes the most sense. And so when we come back, um, all of our stuff will be here and so we can either just you know, get another apartment in Florida and it'll be like an easier move or we have to like move our stuff like cross country and that's like a lot. And so we think probably Florida again after Hawaii. And then we've been thinking about other places we want to live and um, I need, I feel like I want one last hurrah up north because um, if you guys didn't know, I grew up in New Hampshire and I love Boston. And um, I did technically go to school there for like a month. I went to a school in Boston for a month, but I hated it. It was my very first semester after high school, um, but I hated the school and I left. And so I really wasn't there for long, but I did technically live there for like about a month, actually like three months. Um, I think I left school right before Thanksgiving break. So like, yeah, November. Um, but I think I wanna live in Boston just for like a sec, like literally like a summer. So if that's like an Airbnb situation too, that might be, or if we can get like a three month lease, that'd be awesome too. But I really think I wanna live there. And then, oh, very good. And then, um, we also really want to not move to places in Europe, but we want to take like a year and just sort of live in different places around Europe or just kind of around the world. And so we'd like stay in one place for like two weeks, three weeks a month and then go to another place and just kind of like do that thing so we wouldn't have like a lease anywhere, but we'd just be like living in different places. Um, but that's like, we have to, you know, I mean, that's like, you have to play in that. So that's not anytime super soon, but like within the next couple of years. And then um, I feel like we'll probably end up in Texas at some point as well. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been um, like feeling like there's a few places I like need to check off that I lived in, you know? Like, yeah, I don't know. There's just a few places that I would like to live in before I like find a place where I'm like, okay, this is where I'm staying. 
you know I mean obviously I have a lot of time but I've just been like thinking about that because at least then we have to like figure out what we're doing next so yeah that's my little spiel good morning good morning are you wearing sun shark <coughs> cute <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym but I wanted to quickly show you guys my new sports bra that I got I haven't gotten a new sports bra from Lulu in years and so I saw this one yesterday when we ran to the mall and I needed to get it it's the cutest thing ever it has like this cool it almost looks like you know like a temperature radar you know so it looks like that and then the back is just like that I think it's called the energy bra if I'm not mistaken but I just think the color of it is like amazing wow I cannot wait for my hair to be all brown like seeing this makes me so happy but doesn't that bra look so good on her <laughs> look it so from the front awesome. my hair looks brown I know, it's gorgeous. I love it. We just got some of this blonde back here. <laughs> Put a lot of brown, but we're getting there. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. Here's the back again. I love it so much. Um, I think today I'm gonna do, surprise, surprise, a Peloton class. And I had an idea. I don't know if I'll be able to find like what I'm looking for, but if I can find something on YouTube, I want like, a full body like pilates sculpt type of thing but if i can't find it i'll just do legs because like technically it's like day um but i don't i don't know i don't really want to do like a ton of heavy weights so maybe if i do legs and i can't find the pilates thing maybe i'll just do um like body weight or lightweight. I don't know. I'm really feeling heavyweight today. But yeah, of course I'm going to do Peloton class because we, we all know I'm obsessed with Peloton. And uh, yeah, that's like where I'm at. I think that's the only updates that I have. It is brushing her teeth now. Okay, guys, I'm about to go into the gym and I really don't want to. I'm feeling very unmotivated and just kind of like down in the dumps I don't really know what's going on with that but hopefully this will make me feel better I mean we'll see and then also I was thinking maybe I need to get outside today because it's not like pouring so maybe I need to like be outside so I was thinking I because I have to write a podcast episode today maybe I'll write it by the pool be a vibe i also really want a different book my book's like really depressing so maybe i'll go and get like a happier read i don't know i just don't think my book's like the vibe so yeah let's go get this workout done with i should have put chapstick on before i left it's okay okay here goes nothing i would bring you guys in but um I've told you it's just like a small jam and there's no way to hide that I'm recording myself and I don't have the confidence for that <laughs> I'm too shameful so I'm gonna go in Avery's going to the gym we have a membership at um so yeah we're at different gyms but I wanted to go on the peloton bike that's why I'm at this one I need to just buy my own Peloton bike and then do a Peloton class at home and then go to the gym with her. Maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> one day I'll own a Peloton bike. Just got done at the gym. And you guys, the first thing I always do when I get back from leaving is I always check for scary people because I watch far too many time shows. do this or am I psychotic because I think I'm just paranoid <clears throat> but I've just seen a lot of crime shows and then um, also the next thing I always do when I get back from the gym is I like, wash my hands 
because they always feel so, so nasty after. Okay. I showered yesterday and so I don't, definitely don't want to wash my hair, but I may take a body shower. To, like think about that for a sec because I took a Peloton class and I did get sweaty but like not crazy sweaty you know letting hair scares me um but yeah so what I ended up doing was excuse my hair it's always um very scary immediately after the gym but I did a Peloton class which <laughs> So you know how I was like, yeah, I'm feeling kind of down, whatever. So I really wanted a 30 minute class, but I've like done all of them from Kendall and Allie Tool, except for one. And I like really only like their classes. And the only one I hadn't done that was 30 minutes was this mood ride, but the mood was sad. And I was like, well, you know, like sometimes slow sad music is like kind of a vibe so i did it and <laughs> i was like it'll make me feel better it didn't it sort of just made me more sad sorry the lighting is so awful in here um but yeah it kind of just made me more sad to be honest and didn't help but then i did some legs because i couldn't find a pilates class that i wanted to do um, I did some legs and I did some, um, or like a 20 minute ab thing, but I was just feeling pretty unmotivated and so I didn't really sweat because I wasn't really like trying very hard. I think I'll body shower. I just don't want to get my hair all frizzy, but body showering is probably... Um, excuse me, in my nighttime apartment in the middle of the day. God, I hate the lighting in here. Okay. I'm going to go shower and get ready. And then, that scared me. I thought my, um, the, um, closet was a person. But I also don't like showering when I'm home alone. So, I don't know, TBD, but... I have to pee, pee first, so I guess I'll decide while I pee <laughs> if I'm gonna shower or not. Alrighty, so it's a bit later, not too much later. I got dressed, I did body shower, um, ate some lunch, I just had a sandwich, and now, or we had a call also, and then now I am going to try this green juice from Trader Joe's because I want to, and I think I've had it before but like a long time ago and I like it wasn't the worst but it wasn't the best so let's give it a try Avery tried it this morning she said it wasn't awful I'm curious to see what you think so this has cucumber juice celery juice grapefruit juice green leaf lettuce juice green chard juice lemon juice kale juice spinach juice parsley juice mint tea dang let's see you think it's gonna be sweet or no? No, I'm assuming it's gonna taste like celery. But I think you're gonna like it. Oh. Not bad, right? Not bad, no. So it definitely tastes like celery, but there is like a tanginess to it, which makes it like nice. Yeah, I think that it's awesome. It tastes really good. This morning I had that, because um, if you don't know already, I'm iron deficient. And so I've been trying to eat more iron because I've been in my funk again, like super tired because I get like that sometimes whenever um, my iron gets super low. So I had that mixed with a whole dropper thing full of chlorophyll mixed with a giant spoon of spirulina and it tasted like pond water. <laughs> like real life pond water. Yeah. I would never do that. Spirulina is like, tastes like death. But it's so good for you. It tastes like fish poop. Yeah, it's like, it's brutal. I can tolerate it in a smoothie if there's like peanut butter and banana and a lot of like big flavors. Like, 
sweet flavors, but, like I can't just, I can never do what you did. Yeah. It's like a, it's a powerful, powerful, powerful taste in my opinion. I've also been having the hungry wars. Like, I don't know if it's cause I worked out really hard yesterday. Cause like I, I've been working out like nearly every day, right? Like almost every single day for like the past month, right? Is it a month? month? No, it but started two at, weeks, at the probably. end of hanging out with our friends. Oh yeah, yeah okay, so like almost a month, yeah. Yeah, like a month. Um, and then all of a sudden today, my body's like, <clears throat> like oh my gosh, I had so much, like mo more than I normally eat. That's why I'm saying so much. It's just like I've already had three she meals. She like well, can't get full. Yeah, like I've already had three full meals, and it's two. That's this totally is my third though. because. Well, one, your muscles are probably growing and repairing, but also, like, it could be just in combination, a part of your cycle where you get more hungry. Mm, you know? That's what I'm thinking, but I'm like, if my body's hungry, just eat now because I don't want to, like, yeah. I don't want my muscles not to grow because I'm starving, you know? Yeah, no, definitely eat if you're hungry, for sure. Like, there are days when my stomach is actually a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> that was today, and then like, there are days where, like, I can't even finish my dinner. Dinner's my, like, my whole fresh dinner, like my favorite. Mm -hmm. We made soup, like soup is nothing. It was like this yummy curry soup and I couldn't finish it. I was like, I want to finish it so bad, but yeah. I can't. We had our body work. And then I guess now my, everything's making up, like uh, my, my body's making up for that by eating a lot today. What? Avery wants to show you her new pants. Yeah. Here, I'll vlog. I have. I have these. I also have the white version, which I've been wearing for the last two days in a row. Mm -hmm. And this one, I decided to change it up. And went to Lululemon yesterday and got these. These are the black version. I just love how they fit. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored. No, I wish but, one day. But, but like they, they're the perfect length. Like if I want to wear high tops, it looks cool. But like. They even like come down a little bit when I'm not doing anything, mm -hmm. and then if I want just like to look a little more fresh, yeah, they're from the men's section. Yeah, they're so cool. Super cool. I love them. Love them. Okay, guys. So I just made a few TikToks, and now I actually have to. Well, I need to. I want to write a podcast episode or at least like start. Um, but also Avery and I's dresser broke, so I think we have to go get a new one. So I'm also gonna try to research places to go. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Furniture stores near me. I'm thinking like rooms to go or like maybe even Target. I feel like Target could have stuff as well, um, but I don't need anything crazy, you know? Just like something simple. We'll see what I find. Okay, we are about to go try to find a new dresser. Wrote my podcast, maybe we had her call. And yeah, we're gonna go to Target first and then <clears throat> we'll go to like Rooms to Go or something more fancy if like we can't find anything. But I feel like we'll be able to find something at Target. We'll see, but it's like hot out. But it's always freezing cold in all the stores. <laughs> so I'm bringing a sweatshirt. I'm planning ahead. Oh, sorry. Okay. Planning ahead <coughs> and bringing a sweatshirt. Hey, vlog. We are on our way to Tarjay. And I had to take my hair down even though it's dirty and greasy because I had a feeling I was going to get a headache. Um, but I'm still sick. I don't understand like when did I get sick officially mm. like a week ago right yeah cuz pretty much like the day I got better you started and feeling sick but I was only sick total for, I was like, sick for like three days three days and it's been like a while it's hanging on to her mm -hmm. I'm like and then whenever I wake up <coughs> my throat hurts and I still have a cough and <coughs> Ew. And like, I can still feel everything draining out of my um, orifices. You're just a leaky gal. Yeah, I'm leaky. And then at the gym, oh, I, I've been doing like some boxing training because um, 
yeah, which is really cool. And um, <laughs> and so I was moving this um, jumping block at the gym when I was doing my boxing. And they have like this textured metal wall and I accidentally slid up a, a, against it while I was holding this thing and like, I mean it was like <laughs> and then it like ripped the skin off my fingers so that hurts and then sometimes when I box I, I forget to um, put stuff on my knuckles and then with my reflex ball um, it, there's like a, a screw at the bottom sometimes I accidentally hit it so my knuckles are all torn up um, but I'm just a big complainer. So, yeah. <laughs> I complained about like three things in, in the, the only time I was here. But I just want to fill y'all in. You know. I was like, Avery, pick up the camera and vlog. Because you're never in it. Yeah. So I figured, why not? Yeah. And so that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> we have our dresser that it's been broken for like a week or so. So we're going to get it fixed. No, we're not. I mean, we're going to get a new one. Hopefully we can find a cute one at Target. Target does have really cute stuff. Maybe, in, I'm thinking like, probably in the kids furniture section. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Kids furniture, don't sleep on kids stuff. The kids Especially in Target. is like the cutest. It is. Okay. It's like the prison bag. Turn it off? Yeah, I mean, if you're done. Okay. Um, okay, guys, I've said my piece. Um, bye. Hi. Okay. So we didn't get dressers. Didn't even see any. Literally, we went to four stores and didn't even... See a dresser. See a dresser. We'll just get it online, whatever. Um, but we did get new books because... So you guys know I was on like a reading kick, but then I got a book about dying and then conveniently my dad got sick. And so I didn't want to read a book about dying and I still don't want to read a book about dying. Um, so I got a new book. I, cause I literally, I've read like three, I've read like two chapters of that. I had just gotten it when it all happened. So mm, that book is a no go. Yeah. I just don't want to. Who would want to read about dying? I, would. I mean, I know it's a really good book cause people have said it like over and over and over again <laughs> you can leave it it's hard. um but it's just not the time and place i also don't want to accidentally manifest anything into my life so um i got this book and i saw this on tiktok someone was like it was like a video where she said books that gave her serotonin which is the opposite of <laughs> what the other book was giving me so I got this book called I'll Give You the Sun and in the comments people were like, oh my god, that book is so underrated, it's my favorite book of all time. Someone was like, but it's sad though, but I guess there's like happy meanings and good mean good things in this book, like good messages. So I'm really excited to read this and the cover's super cute. I know it's not, like this is the original cover, but this one like is a paperback and has a different cover and it's really cute and rainbow. And Avery also got a book. I got this book called The Hatchet. Mm -hmm. um, it's about survival and I like survival, but I'm actually pretty sure I've already read this. I know I have. I think it was a summer reading book at some point. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's sort of coming back to me. I'm pretty sure there's a bear involved. <laughs> Anyways, Don't ruin it for yourself. Um, but yeah. Okay, so no dresser. We'll have to buy it online. Um, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go back home now. It's five o'clock. I'm actually not starving at five o'clock for once. Normally I'm so hungry. Um, I'm not. It's because of my like whole, um, like eating a bunch of meals before. Like I actually stopped eating at like two and now I'm not hungry at five. Mm -hmm. So we're probably gonna end up making dinner at like 6.30 or something. Hi, okay, Pop. Yeah. Whatever. Water. Um, I made so many TikToks today. It was honestly great. So maybe we'll go back home, buy a dresser, start reading, and then make dinner together. Yeah, do that. Do I have any laundry to do? I like. Okay, here, here's how I work. Like I was just like, oh, I'll edit a YouTube video. But no, I literally made so many videos today. I had a call. 
I did everything on my list, I think. Word. I'm not gonna edit a video as well. <sighs> no. Yeah, I literally did all of this, including things I didn't think I was gonna do. Okay. Yeah. You're good. I'm good. Let me just write down before I forget, because tomorrow I do have to edit, so edit. I should really come up with a to-do list. Okay. I just don't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. We are now back home. I'm about to change, get into some comfy clothes for the night. But I wanna show you guys our dresser. It's just like literally broken in every which way. Like the bottom of every drawer is falling through. Like none of them close anymore. This is just completely broken off. It looks so bad. <laughs> and we just like simply did not find a dresser today. So. Yeah, not really sure what we're gonna do about that, but um, I'm gonna get changed. It's my favorite part of the day. Pick out something cozy to wear. And I guess we'll start cooking dinner. I'm honestly still not super duper hungry. Um, but I could eat, so we'll probably cook soon and whatnot. Okay, I literally put the camera down like 15 minutes ago and I don't remember if I like finished my sentence. <laughs> but I'm going to change into some comfy clothes. It's pretty cold in here, so I'm thinking some sweatpants and like a t-shirt or something. I don't know, but something real cozy. I'm taking off my shoes at the moment. You guys, I'm so bored with my space. I want to redo it so bad, so bad. Put my shoes away. <sighs> okay, let me change and I'll get back to you. All right, cozy vibes have arrived. Got my <sighs> Life is Good shirt on, you guys know I'm obsessed. And Aritzia sweatpants. About to go make some dinner. Get in the orange is new black vibe. I get, or let's see, it, I have like 30 minutes until my work day is technically over. And I can put my phone away for the night. So looking forward to that. But yeah, let's go make some dinner. Hang out with the wife. Hi. Hi. You wanna start making dinner soon? Yeah. There's some paperwork. Some business for me. It's not Thursday for some reason. What? Why are there so many? I don't know. I think they're all the same exact thing. They probably all go to somewhere else in the same. Yeah, maybe. Wait, if you mess up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Think if you're like, I mean, if it has to be perfect, giving you one would be silly. Okay. So tonight we're making HelloFresh, last meal of the week. And uh, you know what I was thinking about? Like if you lived alone, you could order HelloFresh as your weekly groceries because each meal would last yeah. two days. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> yeah. You would save a lot of money doing that, I feel like. Yeah, I think so. Because, yeah. Anywho. Um, Tonight we're making Kung Pao Chicken, not sponsored. Although I wish it was, it's still not. Um, so this one, yeah, looks good. It's some rice with bell pepper, scallions, garlic, soy sauce, whatever. White vinegar, Szechuan paste, cornstarch, chicken, peanuts, and chili flakes. Looks pretty dang good. Let's see if I can turn the oven on at all. No, so then this one will be quick. Quick-ish. <sighs> yeah, gonna be hella fresh, but to be honest with you, there's something else in my fridge that's been like calling my name all week, oh but I, you need to eat hella fresh pot first, pie? you know? Yeah. I got this chicken pot pie to make, but I don't wanna make it till the hella fresh is done because like the hella fresh will go bad. First, I made that up, I have no idea if that's actually true. 
just like what I feel like would happen. Also really sad because I'd have cottage cheese. And then remember you took your first bite, you're like, ew! What, cottage cheese? Yeah, now you love it. Yeah, I, I, th I think I told you guys this earlier, but I thought I hated cottage cheese, and then I tried it and I was like, mmm, meh. But then, once you think of it as cheese and not yogurt, because I always thought of it as like a type of yogurt, once you think of it as cheese, it's really good. And then the first day I was like, okay, I'm done after like half of it, but last night I had the other half of it and it was so good and now it's gone and I wish I had more. Okay. Time to cook dinner. I wish the lighting in my apartment was better. But it's not. We'll get better lighting next time. Yeah. Better luck next time. Okay guys, this HelloFresh is one of the wait. books. Yeah. Kung Pao chicken, rice, and Kung Pao chicken, obviously. It is so good. It literally tastes like mall Chinese food. <laughs> In the best way. Mmm. It's good. Also, six months ago, could not use chopsticks, and now I'm picking up rice with it, so. My girl. Okay. We're gonna watch some YouTube while we eat. Mm -hmm. You love it? Mm-hmm. So really good. You guys. That was phenomenal. Mm, that was so, so good. That was up there in my fave. I don't even remember my thing. Really good. I really like their tacos every time. Yeah, their tacos. Oh, yeah. I really like. Nothing compares to sweet potato tacos, though. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, I really like the curry that we had earlier this week, and I really liked that kung pao chicken. This is like a very Asian bot. Yeah. Like the Indian food, the, the curry. Yeah, they do a decent job with. Like non-American meals, mm -hmm. like more cultural, cultural meals. Yeah, I not love like that. the best. So like you can tell it's like a little Americanized. A little Americanized, but it. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's really good. Like that kung pao chicken was good. That tasted just like mall Chinese food. Yeah, can't even lie. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit like a lot of steps, a lot of cleanup. Yeah. A lot of times they're easier than that. But um, that one like had more flavor. Like oftentimes the ones that are like just the easiest are the least flavored. Like the chicken breaded with some sort of sauce with a vegetable and a potato. That's like always what it is. And it's always just like, yeah. okay. Like, is it worth it? like last night we had the... Honey buffalo. sriracha, oh, whatever, yeah. or buffalo, whatever. There's a, the buffalo chicken. The but buffalo. it's sweet because they add honey to it. But it's like, like when I hear buffalo chicken, I expect like buffalo chicken. Like I want to be smothered. Yeah, you know, like buffalo chicken. Yeah, but it's just buffalo tinted chicken. Yeah, it has like a drop of buffalo. And it's just like mostly sweet. And it just it's just like one little piece of chicken green beans and potatoes. And I mean, it's, it all tastes really great. It's just a little bit underwhelming. I prefer like the curry and the Kung Pao chicken and the tacos and like yeah. the fun stuff, not just like chicken and veggies. Cause we cook chicken and veggies on our own. We don't have HelloFresh. And so like, yeah, whenever I can get something more like cultural, I choose that option. Well, I actually go in every week, if I remember. And, um, change our meals because they almost always it's usually like they have a chicken option a beef option and a pork option and I exchange the two the, the pork and the beef for chicken or veggie options oh my god so in a few weeks like I planned ahead like I went in and I did like the next month for HelloFresh um, and I saw in like a month that they have a seafood boil one night and I don't like seafood boils um, but Avery loves them. It's like one of her favorite foods. And so I um, only picked two meals and then the third one is just for her. So sweet. I couldn't, I, I saw it there and I couldn't not get her the seafood boil when it was an option. So it's really not that big of a deal. So sweet. I'll just make something else that night. But it's also like in a month. <laughs> so. Yeah, 
we'll have to remember that. Well, we always have enough food. But you guys, we buy so much food and like still at the end of the week, yes, we're like, there's really nothing shopping. to eat. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just that we actually use the food we buy and don't just let it like sit around. Like in my family, I would have my mom buy like a billion things, but I'd eat like four of them. And so then like the rest of them would just always be there. And so you always felt like there was a lot of food, but with us, we like actually eat everything yeah. that we buy. Like I only bought one cottage cheese and I wish I bought more. <laughs> I'm having... I wish I bought more frozen food for like lunch. Do you want to go get popsicles and come back? Sure. And toilet paper. <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna go right into the store because we're out of toilet paper. Get toilet paper and popsicles because I've been loving popsicles. The um, Halo Top coconut popsicles, oops, are the best. So we can go. Should we just get the outshine ones since they're at Publix? No. They're super similar. Let's go. And put your cheese. My cheese? Your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get rid of our mask wall. We do. Unless the mask mandate happens again. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. They don't have Halo Top here. So I'm going to get outshine. These ones are just as good though. Yum. Yum. You know the vibes. <laughs> daily paper products. I mean, not daily. <laughs> daily? I mean like monthly or bi-monthly, whatever. That'll be six hundred dollars. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're about to sit down and watch Orange Is the New Black. My dessert number one of the night are these um, lemon Madeleine Madeleine cookies. Madeleine. I know my mom would say with a French accent, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, <coughs> but yeah, we need these. I've eaten. It came with like. Two, four, six, six, and I've had two every night, and it's been so hard because I wanted to save them to like have throughout the the week. So That's I have so to like, scary. I know. So I have to like fight myself not to eat more than two a night, but I did good. I ate two a night. So, and then we have our popsicles. We got some. We got some snacks lined up for the night. My snack of the night is Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, with strawberries on top, sugar, and maple syrup. Mmm, I want to buy that. Okay. Sounds so good. I'm so mad because we went to the store and I didn't buy cottage cheese, and you guys know I was craving it. Mm. Okay, let's get my honest opinion. Mm. It's really good. Mm. I don't really like sweet yogurt like that. Yeah. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, my mom used to have a yogurt for dessert legit every night when I was a kid. <laughs> really? Like every night. Okay. Oops, sorry. For what? That's okay. Time for orange is the new black. 